Across the world, cities are expanding at an unprecedented rate. By 2050, it's projected that over two-thirds of the world's population will live in urban areas. Many of these cities will be forced to spread into areas that are more prone to hazards, like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and floods. And as they grow, they generate new hazards, like fire. Urban growth can generate social vulnerability when key services like sanitation and drinking water, education and healthcare are inadequate, and when decision-making is not inclusive. Too often, the urban poor are ignored in the design of future urban places, forcing many into informal and illegal settlements outside formal planning, leaving hundreds of millions of people to suffer the ravages of unnatural disasters. Unless we plan for those future threats today. Because this critical challenge also presents a moment of opportunity. It's estimated that 2 billion more people will move into cities in the global south before 2050. So today's urban planning decisions will determine the risk and resilience of future developments for decades to come. Our mission is to make those future cities safer and more resilient reducing disaster risk for the poor in tomorrow's cities. In each city, we listen and facilitate critical thinking about the future, bringing together interested parties, from local community groups to city and government agencies, to reveal the different future visions for the city yet to be built. These future visioning conversations provide a set of bottom-up policy options locally informed development pathways that the city might take. Working with local media groups, museums or universities, exhibitions and artworks are used to bring the public into discussions about what the future might look like. We then bring together all the technical information that we know about the threat. Data on the physical hazards, the characteristics of the built environment, population characteristics, socioeconomic trends, political and cultural conditions. That data then feeds into physics-based models that simulate the impacts of hazard events on different development visions. It helps raise questions such as, what would happen if we designed the buildings differently? Or what would happen if infrastructure developments took account of the potential impacts of hazard scenarios? The modelling will explore a wide range of impacts that the hazards could produce. Then we close the loop. We take the results of our evidence-based future urban impact simulations back to the community, as well as city and government stakeholders, to combine citizen expertise and vision with policy actors, to democratically convert the objective measurements of impact into the subjective representations of risk and ask them, is this level of risk acceptable? What have we missed? What did they mean for the most marginalized? That means refining our weightings to reflect diverse perspectives on the importance of different impact metrics, checking whether the right governance is in place, sense checking the consequences of any preferred options, ensuring the process has been fair and transparent, and planning the next steps for action. By listening to the urban poor and urban planners, Tomorrow's Cities provides opportunities to overcome different perspectives and form new collaborations to bring the most marginalised into risk reduction. Offering a new, integrated approach to risk-informed planning and decision-making for Tomorrow's Cities. <laughs>